In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a neat little recycled bottle cap storage container, one that you can store matches in to keep them waterproof no matter what kind of weather you're in, or your char cloth to keep it dry. Uh, the little bottle weighs two ounces. Uh, you can keep your medicines in it for day trips, backpacking, um, kayaking, rafting. You can even keep your spices in it for when you go on a camping trip. You can put all your different spices and label them. And two bottles are the size of one salt shaker. So it's very small, very compact, and very roomy. You can even put your fishing equipment in it to go and catch fish. And best of all, it actually floats. You can use it as a float for a, for a bobber. So once I've saved up a few of the uh, bottle tops, I just take them out and get them ready. I really like the smart waters. Um, they're a little longer, they seem like, but all of them work the same. So I, I just get them out and start cutting them up, either with a bandsaw. Uh, I like to use a bandsaw, it's just quick. I flip it on and, and make my cut, but uh, I'll show you how we do so that. So I do a lot of Lego videos and things for younger kids. So uh, if you're watching this video and you want to try this, uh, don't. Unless you're at least 18 years of age or you've asked your parents, um, I prefer you guys use a hacksaw and a vice grip to grip it in and use the hacksaw to cut it. But I love power tools. It's quick. It's easy. And um, if you're old enough, then do it this way. If not, please don't try this. Um, always be safe and let your parents know what you're doing. Um, but it's you're never too young to start prepping. All right, guys. So let's get really close. And go. You have a nice uh, line right there at the cap. Just like that. And that's how you get that off. And once you've made your cut, you're, you're, you're left with a nice little uh, makeshift funnel that could even, you know, kind of collapse and shove in something. In an emergency situation, you know, you have a uh, pretty cool little funnel. So that's just a little extra tip. And if you want to throw one of these in your pouch or your bug out bag you'll have now, it. The next thing we want to do is we want to get this surface here completely flat and I like to just use the belt sander. Uh, it works really good. When it's plugged up it works really right. And all you want to do is just kind of get all the raised parts and make sure this is all roughed up. That way your contact cement or whatever you're using will, uh, will adhere really good both sides and make sure you've got a nice flat surface. And those look good. <laughs> Be sure you take some type of tool and um, you know just scrape the little the little white thing. It'll kind of run over in there and you don't want that in the way. So just get your little tool and scrape that out. And it makes for a, a better fit when you put them together. So once everything's prepped and ready, you can get this contact cement. That's what I like to use. You put it on both sides, let, let it dry for 10 minutes and put it together and it sticks forever. Um, they have this at Harbor Freight. It was a buck, I think. And uh, this little tube is going to do me a whole lot of bottle caps and other projects that I need. So uh, I'm really looking forward to using this on lots of other projects. And this is the strong stuff, so be sure you don't inhale a lot of this at least uh, be in a ventilated area once I get a, a good bit on I like to just kind of take something and rub that around and I've also taken the caps off because it'll let it you know air in there while it's drying um, your main your main objective here is to get a good coating over the whole entire thing so when it's ready you'll go together and stay together so uh, let's let that dry. Okay, so now that's dried for 10 minutes, you simply just pick them up, put them together, and you got contact. That's why they call it contact cement. What I like to do is just take a little Irwin clamp or something and uh, squeeze it down a little. Just keep tension on it. And uh, leave that for about an hour, and it should be good to go. We'll come back in an hour and put the caps on. Okay, guys, here we go. So we've had about an hour for it to dry. And... There you go. You have your uh, good strong seal. Nice and tight. There's your uh, there's your bottle. There's your cap. 
you could seal one side if you want to but it's better to have open access to both sides but there you have it that's how you make your bottle top bottle top waterproof container um, weighs about two ounces fits just anywhere um, hope you enjoyed it if you liked the video please share it with your friends on Facebook Instagram Pinterest wherever you want to share it um, also check us out on the blog there's a link down below for the blog page there's a link for our Facebook page modern day preppers where we get together and try to join ideas and share with each other ideas of ways to be prepared for all kind of emergency type situations and uh, again hope you enjoyed it folks have a great day